Goodwin is in desperate need of a win and Van Bronckhorst's side need to keep on winning if they want to catch Celtic at the top of the table. Something's got to give this Saturday when Rangers host Aberdeen at Ibrox. Welcome back guys to Fog Football for your Rangers versus Aberdeen Cinch Premiership match review. Big game for both teams as per usual. Both teams will be wanting to win, but for different reasons. Rangers know that they need to keep on winning. They know realistically to have a shot at the title, they probably need to keep on winning and Celtic need to be the next team to slip up. If Rangers slip up again before Celtic do, they could be looking at a five, maybe a six point deficit. And they just cannot have that at this stage of the season. Games are running out. And Rangers need to make sure that they can stay within that three point gap of Celtic with two old firm games left. Keep in mind though, Celtic have the better superior goal difference as well, which could factor in as an extra point. So in reality, Rangers currently, if you book that into effect, they're sitting four points behind Celtic. So they need to make sure they keep on winning until Celtic drop points. They need to beat Aberdeen as for Aberdeen. What an absolute disaster season it has been for them. A lot of people at the start were predicting Celtic to actually finish below Aberdeen. People actually thought Aberdeen could finish second this season and thought they had a really good squad. And I think we all thought that. Even I was guilty of thinking that Aberdeen were going to be right up there pushing. And I thought they were going to be at least best of the rest. And I thought they would push Celtic. I didn't think they would get second. But I thought they would push Celtic for third. But it's just not been that way at all. The Stephen Glass project didn't work. They brought in Jim Goodwin. He's still searching for his first, first win. And Aberdeen haven't won a game since the January 22nd Scottish Cup victory where they beat Edinburgh City by three goals to nil. That is a fucking hell of a long time ago. There's been a lot of matches played since then and it's actually mad that Aberdeen are still waiting to pick up three points since that day. In terms of injury news, former Celtic captain Scott Brown always ups his game against Rangers, always looks forward to play against Rangers regardless of whether he's in a green shirt or a red shirt. You know, Celtic captain, former Celtic captain Scott Brown always wants to put the boots into Rangers, always wants to get a good result against Rangers, but he will not be playing. He's still feeling the effect of a hamstring injury unless he, he performs a miracle overnight, maybe puts some healing cream on his hamstring, but unless he does that, he'll not be playing. S such as uh, Marley Watkins and Andrew Considine, two other players that are injured, still absent, and I doubt they're going to make a recovery. So Aberdeen missing some key players for this game, and it isn't exactly making Jim Goodwin's job any easier. He came in with a tough job, he came in with a team that was deflated, a team that had no momentum, a team that were underperforming and it's going to take them a while I think to get this Aberdeen team to where he wants it to be and I don't think it's going to happen this Saturday when they take on Rangers. Speaking of Rangers, there's no new real injury concerns for Rangers. Obviously that we know Aaron Ramsey's out, we know Hadji's out but apart from that Rangers set to go with a full strength team. They're just coming off the back of yeah, a mediocre 1-0 win over St Johnson. let's be honest, it wasn't pretty, but they did get the job done, and they'll be hoping for something similar. Obviously, they want to play better than they did against St Johnson, but they'll be hoping the main thing is that they get the win, that they get the three points, and that they keep on track of Celtic. They can go level with Celtic. Celtic do not play till Sunday, so if Rangers can defeat Aberdeen on the Saturday, then it's pressure on Celtic, and you never know, Livingston always seem to give Celtic a good game. Especially at the Tony Macaroni Stadium with that plastic pitch. A lot of teams struggle to go there and pick up something. And I think it'll be no different with Celtic. So Rangers here really know that they've got a good chance here to close the gap over this weekend. If they can defeat Aberdeen. And I think they will defeat Aberdeen. Even though, like I said, Van Broncos, his side hasn't been in the best form as of late. They are struggling. They're not playing well, neither are Aberdeen. Everything that Rangers are doing bad at the moment, Aberdeen are doing a lot worse. And I just look at this Aberdeen side and I don't see them coming to Ibrox and getting a result. But then again, I didn't see Mullerwell getting a result at Ibrox when they were two goals down. So anything can happen. But my money would be on Rangers in terms of prediction. I'm going to go Rangers to Aberdeen now. I'm going to go 2-0. And you know what? We'll get both goals from Morelos because Morelos... It's a goal-scoring machine. And that's what he does. He scores goals. He may as well do it again here. Aberdeen, they're a shit-losing machine. Who knows? Maybe Ferguson will try and die for a penalty. 
But they, he's got no chance of getting a penalty against Rangers. There's only one team that get penalties in the Rangers games, and that's Rangers, so get it right. Anyway, guys, that's it. 2-0 Rangers is my prediction. Let me know what you think down below. Leave a like, share this video, comment, subscribe if you haven't. I mean, if you haven't, then what the hell are you waiting for, man? Seriously, hit that subscribe button. Hit it twice. Just don't unsubscribe while you're doing it, right? And that's it. Till next time. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later for the match review. Peace.